Hi, my name is Andres Abeta, Director of Bootcamp GIS. For a couple of decades, we've been developing GIS education for government organizations and academia. We've put together this report to really inform students on the geospatial job market. In way too many cases, we take courses without knowing what's needed in industry on the other side. Which skills, which technologies, and which workflows. This info is going to help you make some better decisions to help you get one of these jobs. Like, um, what is the mindset that a student needs to have a GIS advancement? Like, what, what do you think they should be thinking of? You know, when I first got my degree, uh, we drew maps on the computer. It was all digitizing, drawing right. lines and polygons and making records in the database. So we were in the, the data creation generation. Uh, a couple of decades ago, but now there's a lot of data there. So it's not about learning where to put the North arrow, what font to put on a map and printing it and putting it on the wall as a printout. A lot nowadays, the most marketable people are the ones that can make the map system. You're the one that's the architect of the entire workflow from data collection to data cleanup to bringing it up into the cloud, uh, creating a map service, serving it with a user interface to be able to push to a lot of people, whatever, however large an audience that you want. So making the map system really could be the GIS analyst, the GIS architect, the GIS administrator. That's where the best uh, opportunities are for advancement, um, salaries, and really those type of people are pivotal in every organization they're in. Nobody wants to lose that person because they're so essential to everything that goes on with their, their GIS systems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are there technical areas that you would suggest or recommend getting into? Uh, well, GIS right now overlaps with everything. So yeah. uh, that's maybe the way the world works in general in tech. So you don't go and study AI and that's it. Well, AI needs some data to be able to do smart things with it. So it could be geographic data. Where is stuff happening? So you might know both AI and GIS. And you don't go just learn to get a pilot license with a drone. You need to do something with the data on this, uh, that's collected on the sensor of that drone. So you might know UAVs and uh, GIS. Uh, so these cross disciplines and technology are just so common. And that's why I think the term solution architect is, is now out there. Can you put together uh, systems with different types of technology, different software, different requirements, and create an application that's uh, useful for your client. If you can have that behind your name, then you're, you're in good, uh, good shape. Yeah. Um, and, and what about rising industry sectors? Uh, just think about any problem that exists in the world. So I think about energy how we're gonna become more green, uh, more climate friendly. Um, so renewable energy is gonna be a big investment and knowing how to use GIS in the application of uh, energy distribution, uh, green energy and figuring out where the next solar farm is gonna be. That's a, that's a good area. Uh, water is a big thing. You know, out here in the West, there's cities are, are big and growing and there's only a limited water supply. So how are we gonna manage that water? Um, smart cities. Uh, so there's the whole area called geo design and how you apply smart geographic principles and design of uh, where people live and make it a more habitable and pleasant place to, to be, community to live in. Um, and recently, like with COVID, you probably heard like, hey, we can't uh, build enough cars because we don't have certain chips on the cars because that supply chain has been interrupted right. and we don't have boats coming across with uh, those particular supplies. So that's going to be an ongoing issue. I think um, that if I had like all the time in the world, I'd really study that heavily 
and figure out ways to map that out. Just really be a good specialist in that area because everybody needs goods and products. So people that manage this distribution of that want to know where is that along the way before it gets put to um, the commercial sector for consumption. Yeah. That's absolutely. Very right. Um, thank you for those insights. That was very helpful. I'm sure every student watching this would be, you know, very interested in what you have to say. So um, I'm sure everyone got to take away from it. And um, for all of you interested about what Andres does, Andres um, has a website called Bootcamp GIS. And he talks about, I mean, he has a lot of courses and articles that you can read about the GIS industry. So if you're interested, do go check it out. It will be linked in the description 